Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, you are going to learn how to send trip plans slash itinerary to travelers when they when inquiry is made, right? So let's see what is happening here. So you have received a new form submission in a form that has been created with the help of Elementor Forms application. And that form is filled by someone who is interested in your tours and travel services and he wants to inquire about the tools and travels packages that you are selling right now when you receive the form submission or inquiry so according to the data that you have received you want to send the person who have filled the form the trip plans or the itinerary on their whatsapp account right now as we used elementor forms to made an inquiry form you can use any other form building application such as jot form, type form or pebbly form builder. And to send the itinerary or the trip plan, we are using WhatsApp, which is very widely used instant messaging application. Now, suppose that you are running a travel and tours business and you have many travel packages that you want to sell. So you have created a page in which you have made an inquiry form with the help of Elementor forms, right? and you are receiving hundreds of inquiry on daily basis. So you want to send them itinerary or the trip plan to the person who have filled the form on the WhatsApp account, right? So to get this done, you have two ways. One is as and when you receive an inquiry, you manually sort out the data of the person who have inquired and then manually compile a message for each and every person who have inquired for your travel packages and then send them the trip plan on their whatsapp account so guys this process can be very tiresome and repetitive for you so we have a better way for you what if i tell you that as and when you receive a new inquiry here in elementor form a whatsapp message along with the trip plan or itinerary get automatically delivered to the person who have made the inquiry yes guys this can happen and this can be done by connecting elementor forms with whatsapp but the issue is there is no direct connection or integration present between Elementor Forms and WhatsApp. So to connect these two applications, I am using a software called as Pavly Connect. So guys, Pavly Connect is an integration and automation software. And the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge to make this connection between Elementor Forms and WhatsApp. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection between Elementor Forms and WhatsApp is going to work in real time. So guys, this is the page I have created for my tours and travels company called as Nomadic Tours and Travels on WordPress. And here you can see uh, below here we have attached a form created by Elementor Forms. And uh, this is the form to get the trip plan or itinerary on your WhatsApp account. All right, so whenever someone fills, the, fills this form, he will receive the itinerary or the trip plan on his WhatsApp account here. So this is the WhatsApp account we have. So I'll show you, I'll fill this form on the behalf of any customer and we will see if in this WhatsApp we receive the itinerary or the trip plan or not. So I'm filling this form here. So the person who filled this form is Harsha Tara Yadav and this is the contact details of Harsha and this is the date on which she wants to travel. All right. So uh, I'm clicking here on send details on my WhatsApp. And uh, you can see the form was sent successfully. Now we will check in the WhatsApp account if we receive a message with the itinerary or not. So we have received a new message here and it is saying hello Arsha Tara Yadav thank you for showing your interest in nomadic tours and travels well one of our team members will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with the message where you can find all the services which we offer in our tours and in this message this is the link in which we have connected the brochure so when you click on this link here you will land up on the brochure page so this is the brochure we have in our drive so this is the trip plan we have. All right. So this is how it is going to work. So now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this message here without any manual compilation of this message just by filling the form here on our tours and travels page. And we have received a message here. 
सो नाउ लेट मी गिव यू द इजीएस्ट पॉसिबल स्टेप्स बाय व्हिच यू कैन आल्सो मेक दिस ऑटोमेशन और कनेक्शन बिटवीन योर एलिमेंटर फॉर्म एंड व्हाट्सएप सो दीज आर द थ्री इजी स्टेप्स बाय व्हिच यू कैन आल्सो मेक दिस इंटीग्रेशन और कनेक्शन बिटवीन योर एलिमेंटर फॉर्म एंड व्हाट्सएप सो स्टेप 1 इज कनेक्ट पैबली कनेक्ट टू एलिमेंटर फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेब हुक यूआरएल so first of all we are going to open pabli connect and connect our elementor form with pabli connect step 2 is collect the data from elementor form in pabli connect so in second step we'll bring the data we received from elementor forms to here in pabli connect and at the final step we'll send the same data as new message on whatsapp via 360 dialog so finally we are going to send the trip plan itinerary on whatsapp to the person who have made the inquiry and to do this we are going to use another application which is 360 dialog so i'll tell you what 360 dialog is later on in this video first of all let's jump back to our step 1 and open pabli connect so first of all you have to open your browser and type p a b b l y that is pabli.com so this is the landing page of pabli from here put your cursor on this product icon and click on connect All right now you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just 2 minutes by clicking here on sign up free button so i have already done this so i'm going to click on sign in directly so after signing in this all apps section of pabli will open up from here you have to come to this connect panel and click on access now button so this will bring you to the dashboard of pabli connect and to start working here you have to create workflows like these all right so to create a workflow you have to click on this create workflow button and here you have to enter a relevant name for your workflow so i am giving trip plan from elementor forms to whatsapp all right now i am clicking on create here so as a workflow get created you will see these two things the trigger and the action so pabli connect work on these two things the trigger says when this happens action says pabli connect please do this all right as in our use case the trigger would be a new form submission or inquiry in elementor form and the action would be send trip plan on the whatsapp account all right so first of all you have to click here on this trigger option and from this choose app choose your application as elementor so this is elementor we have All right after this it will ask for the trigger event so here you have to select this new form submission option and it will generate a url so this is called as a web hook url so by using this url we are going to connect our elementor form with pabli connect so you just have to copy this url first so after copying this url you have to open your page that you have created in wordpress and here you have to click on this edit with elementor option so the editor of elementor will open up and here you have to click on the form that you have created so this is our form all right so when you click on this form you will find this here in this left hand side this content option and here when you scroll down you will find this actions after submit option So you have to click on it, and in this add action field, you have to search for web hook W E B. So this is web hook option. Select this. All right. After this, you have to click on this web hook option again, and you will find a field here called as web hook URL field. So here you have to paste the URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect here like this. So paste it here. and after this click on this update option here on this green button click here so the page will get updated right now click here on this exit to dashboard and in pabli connect you can see it is started showing waiting for web hook response this means we have to fill the elementor form again to get the response captured here in pabli connect all right so this is our second step 
So I'm going to my form again and I'm going to click on view page. So this is our page. So let's fill the form again. So I'm filling the form again. Right, so I am filling the required details and the date at which we want to travel, let's say 30 of October and clicking on send details on my WhatsApp. So the form was sent successfully. So let's check in Pabli Connect if we have captured the data. So you can see the data is captured as it is as we have filled the form. All right. So uh, this step is also completed. So now it is time for next step. Let me show you. So our next and final step is send the same data as new message on WhatsApp via 360 dialog. So now we are going to send the brochure or the itinerary, sorry, to uh, the traveler who have made the inquiry. And to do this, we are going to use another application, which is called 360 dialog. So now I'll tell you what 360 dialog is and how we are going to use it. So now in Pabli Connect, click on the section window and from the choose app, choose the application as 360 WhatsApp by 360 dialog. All right. And in the section event, you have to select send template messages. Now you guys are wondering why I am using this application, which is 360 dialog. Actually, to send messages on WhatsApp, you must have the access of WhatsApp's chat API. So 360 Dialog is an application which have the official access of WhatsApp's chat API. So by using this application, we can send messages on WhatsApp directly and very easily. All right. So after selecting this action event, you have to click on connect here. And if you are making the connection for the first time, you have to select this add new connection like this. So after this, it will ask for these two things, the API key and the domain name. So where you will find these things. So you have to go to your 360 dialog account and click on WhatsApp accounts page to generate an API key. So let me bring you to my 360 dialog account. So this is not my 360 dialog account. So you can also set up your own 360 dialog account. And to do this, I suggest you please use the link that we have pasted in the description box so that you can avail the services of 360 dialog in very affordable prices, right? Now, I'm going to click here on this WhatsApp accounts page. And here you will see we have this button called as generate API key. So when, by clicking on this button, you can generate your own API key. And then you have to copy that key and paste it here in this field in this API key field here, like this. All right. And in the domain name, you will find the domain name while generating the API key, which will look like this. So generally the domain is this only. So you can paste this uh, link here also. After pasting these two things, you just have to click on save and you will be connected with 360 dialog. So this is the process of first time connection. So generating API key is one time task only. So you have to generate the key once and you can use the same key to make the connections furthermore. All right. So as I have already made a connection with public connect, uh, of 360 dialog. So I'm going to choose this existing connection here like this and click on save. So you will see the connected button is showing up. That means we are connected with 360 dialog. After this, it is asking for the template. So which template we, you want to use. So let me tell you what is template first. So I'm going to my 360 dialog again. And here I'm going to click on this manage templates option. So these are the templates we have. All right. So what are these? So let me open one for you. So you can see this is a typical template. So templates are nothing but the messages we want to send on WhatsApp, right? So to avoid spamming, first we have to create the message templates here in 360 dialog, and then you can send the messages on WhatsApp. So to create a template, you have to click here on add template option. And here you can enter the name of your template. And from this category, you can select the categories of the template like this. From the language option, you can select the language in which you want to send the messages. You can select the template type. And here in this body field, you have to write the main body of your message. All right. So after filling this, you have to click on submit here. 
and after getting your templates submitted uh, facebook that is whatsapp's parent company will review your template and approve your template so the standard time of approval is 30 minutes to 48 hours but generally it takes only few hours to get your template approved so as and when your templates got approved you can use them to send messages on whatsapp directly all right so in public connect it is asking me which template you want to use so i want to use the template called as sand brochure template so from this list you when you click here you will find this list in this drop down and these are all the approved templates i have in 360 dialog you can see so these are the same templates list you will find here and from here you can search for your own template so this is the template i am using sand brochure final all right so after selecting the template this namespace field get automatically filled up as well as the language code which because we have the messages in only one language that is english so en is the code for english and then it will ask for the recipient's mobile number all right so where you will find the mobile number you will find the mobile number here in this first tab where we have gathered the data from our elementor form so to map the mobile number you just have to click here and click on elementor form submission option and you will find the number so map the number from here only so you have to put the number in this format so you have to put a plus sign also here like this and then it will ask for these body fields one two three four five so what are these body fields let me show you my template in 360 dialog so this is our template and here you can see we have this one two three four five and six in double curly braces so these are the body fields of, of the messages and actually these are the variable things of the messages which which are going to change with every new message as you can see after hello we are going to put the name of the person which will be changed with every new message thank you for showing your interest in uh, xyz so if you have many pages so you can put the name of the page here right and then it is saying you can find all the services which we offer in our so here you can enter the firm's name or the program name in the link you, you have to paste the link of the uh, itinerary that you have in your drive and here you will find the website's name so these are the things which are going to change with every message so to get these things filled automatically with every new message you have to map the values of these body fields here in public connect all right so first of all we have to map the name so you'll find the name here like this second field let us see so in second field thank you for showing interest so here we are going to enter the name of uh, the tour and travels company so we have this name nomadic tours and travels so i'm copying this from here and i'm manually entering the details here and in the body field three let's see okay which we offer in our so what are we providing we are providing tours so here i am entering tours and here in the body field four we have to enter the uh, link of the itinerary or the trip plans so let me show you the brochure i have in my drive so this is the brochure uh, sorry this is the itinerary or the trip plan i have and here i am going to generate a link by clicking here on, here on this share option so this is the link i'm going to click on copy link and here i'll paste this link like this all right after this it is asking for uh, let's see the body field fifth okay so here you can enter the address of the website so this is our address so you can paste the website's address here right and in the body field six uh, in the body field six okay so after regards we are going to put the name of the uh, tours and travels company which is this nomadic tours and travels so i'm copying this and pasting it here right so we have filled all the details that we needed all right 
So after this, I'm going to click here on this save and send test request and this data according to the template will be delivered on the WhatsApp account as a new message. So let me click here. So I have clicked on save and send test request and it started showing this kind of response and we have received a new message also. Let's check the message. All right. So it is saying, hello Zoya Khan. Thank you for showing your interest in nomadic tours and travels and this is the link it has and all the details that we have filled you can see the website link so this is this message is according to our template and it has the same things that we have filled here in these body fields all right so our connection is working fine now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in the trigger we selected the elementor form application then with the help of this URL, this webhook URL, we connected the form and filled the form again to bring the data here. Right after this, we connected the 360 dialog application to send messages on WhatsApp. And according to the template, we filled the required details and click on save and send trust request and the connection is working properly. All right. After this, just click on save here. And let me tell you one more important thing that is you can make this workflow or automation run 100 times in a month with the help of Pabli Connect's free account because Pabli Connect's free account provides you 100 free tasks for every new month. So if 100 tasks are sufficient for you, you can use Pabli Connect for free forever. Also, we are going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description box so that you can clone that and use it in your own Pabli Connect account. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pabli Connect and automate your business with Pabli Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video.